All right, did not think I was gonna be filming this. Hey guys, I'm back in another video, and today, as you can see, I'm in my school outfit. And um, just now, this is kind of my live reaction, minus like the anger, I'd say. If I seem a little angry in this video, or a little upset, I don't apologize to absolutely anyone. And y'all just gonna have to deal with it. So today, I got sent home along with a bunch of people from school, uh, mainly including like my basketball team. And we got sent home because apparently we've been exposed to coronavirus, considering every single one of the people that I've talked to have no symptoms, no fever, no runny nose, no anything. But yet my school's sending home all of us and a bunch of other people from my school. And I just got home and I got off the phone with like a bunch of people talking to them. And by the way, guys, I don't, I'm just saying it like this. We've all been very careful. We haven't been going out partying. We haven't been doing any of that. We've been wearing our mask, going to school like normal. I'm very upset about that because we've been working so hard. And it's really frustrating me because I want to be mad, but I don't know who to be mad. At. This is just pretty much my live reaction of the situation. And I'm going to explain it to you guys. So... After my third class just now, I was in school, and, you know, I, I feel like if I had the virus, or somebody around me had the virus, I think if anyone would know that I had it, I think the person that would know would be me. I think I would feel not like myself, but considering I feel perfectly normal, I kind of accepted the fact that, you know, I'm just perfectly normal. But yet, if somebody tells you, you're sick, for some reason, I, I get in trouble for it, pretty much. That I'm sick, even though I don't feel sick or look sick or am sick. But apparently, if somebody tell you, tells you, oh, you are you have it, well, you just have it. Which, this kind of reminds me of the Blair Witch Trials, where everybody, if, if you're familiar with that, everybody can get accused of being a witch. Like, if they didn't like that girl, they can just be like, oh, you're a witch, and she could be hung. So that's kind of what it feels like right now, minus, you know, the hanging. But I'm sure a lot of people would be so happy to be out of school right now but considering all the work that me and my basketball team has been putting in and a bunch of student athletes I'm sure a lot of people are very angry right now along with me I started playing basketball in second grade and I was seven years old when I picked up a basketball and I've been playing since my senior year this year and many people like I know some people that I play with now they want to go to college to play basketball, and many kids can't afford college. So by canceling a season or canceling practices, you're pretty much taking their ability to go to college away from them. That's what really upset me a lot. Because I know, I know me, I'm 5'9". I'm not very athletic. You can look at me and just tell that I'm not athletic. And I'm not going to go play college basketball. But I've been preparing 10 years of my life, putting work and to play my senior season which is supposed to be the best season of your life best school year of your life everything and I was having a blast but this whole virus thing and I'm and I'm just gonna say if I get hate on this oh well I really think that's over dramatized and I'm saying that with nothing and a bunch of comments are gonna be like oh this guy died this I know my grandpa he died yeah okay I'm sorry to hear that but not everybody is dying from this disease and I feel like it should be treated a different way. And I don't have the answers. I'm not saying we should just, oh, just go about our own lives. But I am saying I don't think we should be handling it like we are now. Because I don't think it's fair for the kids that have been working their whole lives for this sport to cancel seasons and stuff. Because right now, we just got sent home for 10 days, which for me, I thought we were supposed to go home 14 days. But no, I have to go back to school on the 28th. Right now is August 18th, whenever I'm filming this video. I have to wait 10 days before I can go back to school, which I'm going to go back on a Friday, so they might as well just give us that day off, if we're going to be honest. Like, just give us that day off and get an extra weekend, you know. But I'm not off of school completely. I have to do virtual online right now. But I do have to just stay home, I guess, now even though I don't feel bad or anything, but I have the disease, apparently. Hey, Bear, you want to say hi to the camera? Come here. We'll get some love in here. Come on, come here. Come here, come here, boy. Come here. Say hi. Hey, guys. 
Alright, get out of here. Can't talk. But yeah, so obviously I'm extremely frustrated. Frustrated. So I got out of class just a second ago, like probably 20 minutes ago now, and I drove home. So I'm in third block, perfectly fine. It's just a normal day, uh, pretty much. So I get a text on my phone from somebody on my basketball team, and he's like, "Hey, have y'all been getting pulled out of class? Because a bunch of people from the basketball team got pulled out of class, and we're saying, oh, y'all got to go home." So, I, I didn't get a text, I didn't get talked to or anything, so that was the only reason I found out. So, right as I was going to basketball practice, um, there was only my coaches in there, and they sent, me to the, they sent me to the office to go home. And apparently our parents were supposed to get a text message about, like, sending us home and stuff, which I didn't, re my mom didn't receive that text. So, it was a big, big thing in the office where they were sending a bunch of kids home. And a bunch of people. It was a big, and I felt so bad for the office ladies because I know that I know, and I'm saying this. I if my school, any people in my school is watching this, I'm not saying or trashing my school at all. I love my school, I love the teachers, I love the staff. But for the people that I know, the office ladies, and I feel bad for the office ladies. I'm sorry that y'all had to deal with all the students and all the angry parents right now. But we're just very confused and very frustrated about the whole situation, and I'm sure they are too. And I'm not saying, oh, they're not doing a good job, because they are. But it was just not very organized whenever I walked in there, and they were saying how I had to go home, but mom didn't get a text message. So I had to text her, and I texted my mom first. Well, I called her, and I was like, hey, you need to answer that text message so I can go home. And she was like, oh, I didn't, and I'm going to just be, my, this is my mom. This is my mom hair, by the way. Well, I didn't. I didn't get a text message. Well, well, Mom, you were supposed to get a text message. Well, if you didn't get it, I don't know if you do. Okay, well, um, yeah, I'll, I'll text, text you and say it's okay. So one of the office ladies comes up to me and says, Hey, just text your mom real quick, and then you're good to go. And then if she texts you back permission, you can go. So I do that. And she says, Oh... How do we know that's your mom? Maybe because my contact name says I, I don't, I'm not sure. I mean, I drive home in an hour anyway. I got home an hour earlier than what I'm usually getting home at. But if it's okay that I drive home at a certain time, why wouldn't it be okay if I drove home a little bit earlier? I don't know. But I guess that's just a safety thing. I understand it. So then they say, oh, you got to email it. So then my mom emails them real quick and they're like okay you're good to go after all that work I got home and now I'm very frustrated because we're not practicing for 10 days which is putting us behind on the season if we even have a season at this point it is just really frustrating and sorry you guys have to hear this from me but me and my dog here are very frustrated right now. <laughs> and I know we're really normally happy in these videos. But hey, this is my life. I'm opening up to you guys about it. And I'm pretty, I'm an open person. I don't really have that much to hide anyways. So yeah, hope you guys can understand the situation. But with that being said, I'm, you can all be happy if y'all are... Um, like my content because <clears throat> we got a little bit of free time on our hands now. We got 10 days to stay at home and I know I have virtual learning but I'm sure I can do that really quick and then we can um, run up the video. So if you guys have any suggestions, I know a yoga challenge, a couples yoga challenge is coming soon. I'm going to be doing that because I saw one of your comments. Uh, I forgot the name. Oh, no. I think Don Pace. Don Pace is the username. So, shout out to you. I'm doing a yoga challenge soon. Don't worry. I know you're frustrated that I'm not doing that idea. But we're doing it soon. I've been pushing that idea off because I don't, I don't do yoga. And I'm not flexible at all. But, yeah, that video is coming soon. Another video, an underwater challenge that somebody requested. I'm going to be doing that soon, too. And I have a bunch of ideas lined up, and we're going to do a bunch of videos in the next two weeks because I have a bunch of time on my hands. And if you guys have are interested in this situation and want to know more, just leave comments and questions about it. If you want to see a specific video, just leave comments, guys. 
And if I can do them, I'll make it happen. So, I hope you guys all loved my rant about this. And if you could, leave a like on this video to make the situation a little bit better. And drop a subscription. That'd be great. And also, comment any questions. And... Yeah, that's it. Alright. <laughs> Sorry to um, make your day a little bit more negative than it was. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my frustration. But I'll see you guys later.